What's up, guys? You are watching the pitch. Welcome to another episode of The Pitch. I'm your host, John Fox, alongside here with Mike Froney, Teps, and Mitch Sabatelli. Now, we have a jam-packed show for you guys today. All of Mitch's picks in the NHL are looking great in the playoffs here, and we're inching closer to the Stanley Cup. So, about those Celtics, looking pretty bad in trouble <laughs> right now. 2-0, okay? Uh, against the Heat, who, you know, they look, had they no trouble. Good. They had the no trouble in the regular season, flying. and bam. See ya. All right, so uh, we get the no-no from Francisco Liriano. We'll talk about that, and we'll talk about Andre Ethier is tearing stuff up right yeah. now. All right, so first, we're going to start off with the Eastern Conference in NHL playoffs. Now, Mitch is lightning. Take down Peps' caps in a sweep. Thoughts on the lightning? Are they for real? Yeah, i got to say the Tampa Bay lightning are for real. I mean, I took them to whip beat the Peng Penguins. They took that down. Now they take down the Caps in a sweep. That really even opened my eyes. I think I think the Lightning are for real. They are great up front with Stamkos, St. Louis, Sean Bergenheim from nowhere. I think he has eight goals in the playoffs. The guy had like 14 goals in the regular season. He's really emerged as a top, top player in that team. As well as Le Cavalier, who's been there for a while. You know, they got they still got that great defense. And Dwayne Rolison, the guy's getting up there in age, but he is a Excellent goalie come playoff time. He took the Edmonton Oilers to the finals a couple years ago, <laughs> and now he's back with the, the Bolts. Um, when it comes to Washington Capitals, I, I, yeah, yeah, they won the first round, but for some reason, I don't know what Bruce Boudreaux's problem is. I just don't think he gets his team ready enough come playoff <laughs> time. And um, Alexander Ovechkin, I think his game slips a little bit come playoff time. And I think that goalie problem is a problem. Um, Semyon Varlamov was their goalie at the start of the season. Uh, he got hurt, and then they had to play Neuverth, and Neuverth's the goalie in the playoffs. He didn't look too good, and uh, I'll tell you, the, the game changer there was uh, Bergenheim and Rolison. I think those were the two big players. I'll, I'll give it up to you. I was, I was going on on a, on a win, man. I was just hoping, you know, maybe my one C would come through. But, I mean, the Lightning. <laughs> All your guys are right now. Penguins, too strong, Penguins possibly Flyers, Capitals. Oh, but Cam A stepping up, wasn't really yes. doing that much last round. St. Louis was kind of by himself. In he had off here, too. You know, yeah, I mean, but you know, he's still always going to be that sniper. You know, yeah. he's, he's always going to be up there. And then, like you said, Bergenheim, he's got seven goals his yeah. playoffs. You got Steve Downey he, there. He, yeah, Downey's stepping up, too. They got um, St. Louis got like six goals, too. Yeah, Teddy Purcell, they're loading. But, I mean, um, you know, hey, it is what it is. Four nothing. I mean, you couldn't even give me one game at home. Yeah. <laughs> like, the goaltending has just been awful for them. Like you said with the uh, Volmov problem. and um, Neu birth. Yeah, and having to bring in the backup at all times. Kind of like Philly with their goalie problems. Yeah. And I'm looking forward to a sweep tonight, too. <laughs> yeah. If you think about it, if they take down the Penguins, who with, even without Crosby and Malkin, with that great coaching by Bosma and uh, just how fundamentally sound they are come playoff time, to take them down at, after going down 3-1, and then to take down the Capitals, who are... Basically, uh, they're, a, they're a monstrous team, no matter yeah, they what their playoff problems are. Number one seed, with that kind of people, like Backstrom, Semin, Ovechkin, obviously. It's just like you... Mike Green. Uh, I, I, that, that's going to say something. Yeah, I think the Lightning are definitely for real. But, you know, if Boston wins it, or Flyers come back, yeah. uh, I think that both of those but teams are going to be tough matchups for them. Either way, one, whatever team wins this series, they're going to have their hands full. Lightning on a seven-game-in-a-row tear. I think both teams are going to have their hands full. And then Rolson stepped in. Who needs Mike Smith to get like a 41-year-old goaltender? Yeah, but if, if Tim Thomas is against <laughs> Rolson, I think all of a sudden that, that great goaltending matchup right there turns into a disadvantage for the Lightning because Tim I Thomas is standing that. on his head right now. He but is unbelievable. The Lightning's offense is ridiculous. They had everyone. They are loaded. Him. And they I like their fans, too. Up. Usually Florida fans are, I mean... They, they, they have to bring bells to make noise in the yeah. Tropicana field. Um, they're never there for the Marlins. They're not. Uh, oh, the they Marlins got the Bucks, but yeah. you know, I, I really like what they're doing with the Lightning. I like those fans. So uh, it's, it would be a def it would be a definitely good series if they face Boston. It would be a pretty good. One. That would be very good. I look forward to seeing you know, a nice six seven game series there. Yep. All right, so let's talk about them three zero soon to be. 4 all Bruins against Ooh, the Flyers. Ooh. 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 They're up 2-1 uh, right now. 2-1, 8-40 left. All right, so thoughts on the Bruins, and do the Flyers, I'm just going to 
saying this right now. Do you think the Flyers have a chance to repeat? Um, I don't think that the Flyers have a chance to repeat. I think this is a different, uh, different situation here. We're we're in reality right now. Oh, so yeah. thank you. The Flyers, they were the best team last year. Uh, even though they were a low seed, they were terrific in the playoffs. And um, Michael Layden really showed up. I think. Uh, Peter Laviolette playing Boucher in Game 3 really hurt them after his terrible first two games. Uh, but I really like exact, Boston right now. Exact words from Peter uh, level Level, yeah. level, level or whatever. Or whatever. Yeah. We will take one in Boston. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well, you're down to one. Yeah. True, it's true. Stuff. You still yeah. could chew, chew your gum and sit on the bench where you're playing <laughs> golf early. The difference with this Bruins team was what they did when they were down, when they were up 3-0 and uh, Philly was coming back was they sat back. They yep. felt. It seemed like they had a cockiness, kind of, like they had this on their shoulder after beating the Sabers. And they lost Krejci too. In that, in Game Four, they lost Krejci. They lost. Did they lose Savard too? Well, they lost they, Savard. He came back. He Savard came back. back. Yeah, is their big player, and they lost Krejci too in the series. You know, but I mean, they're coming out with unbelievable offense. I think yep. Claude Julian's really stepped up the offense, and they're playing good D too. And they yeah, got Thomas obviously. So I mean, I think if is if you need to know when to be aggressive and. It seems like they definitely know what they're doing this year. And a couple players stepping up. You know, Milan Lucic, he's been terrible his first couple of games, but he has a goal in this game. Yep. Um, I think Brad Marshawn, they didn't have Brad Marshawn last year. My he boy. is a real instigator. He's never going to be an Ovechkin 40-goal scorer, but he knows how to get pe people under people's skin and even get under people's skin enough to have tweets about him on the sidelines when they're losing. When Max Pasha ready. Making fun of his nose or whatever, that was low. But um, I think P Patrice Bergeron's really stepped up. He's dominated this series. I think Zidane you know, Char stepped up. And a name a lot of people aren't talking about is Dennis Seidenberg. Dennis Seidenberg leads uh, all of the Bruins at block shots. He is a defensive mastermind back there. Great pairing by Claude Julien yeah. with uh, Seidenberg and Char. But the one thing nobody's really mentioning is guess who's the big player that they didn't have last last series, if you forget about Ooh. it. Tim Thomas. Yep. Tim Thomas is back there, and he is playing absolute dominating hockey. The guy is up there, 36 years old, I think, something like that, and he still he looks like he's 25 years old. The guy is a terrific goaltender, and uh, Vezina can hit it again, probably, definitely going to win the Vezina, I think, in my opinion. Uh, he's bringing his game all the way to play postseason. And the big question mark about him is, yeah, he's a great regular season goalie, but can he do it in postseason? He's showing people he can do that right now. And with Tim Thomas behind that, it's going to be tough to beat Boston. I will definitely agree with you there, and um, my pick for Marshawn to step up in the series. He yeah, yeah, especially in that first game. Has two goals and assists to his name. Yeah, he's the there. Sean Bergenheim. About, yeah, the thing you say about Seinberg and uh, also Bergeron. Yeah, Bergeron's stepping up in the assist category too. He's got like four assists. Defensively Seinberg's too. Seinberg's got three assists. You got them throwing in. You know what they're going to contribute to the yep. team. And then you got Chara stepping up and scoring goals too. And that's always good. Your defenseman's coming and scoring goals. You know, it's looking pretty damn good for the yeah. team. And um, the th and also Krejci. I think Krejci had a tough couple of games, but he came back. Yeah, you know, he, he had a few had, nice goals. He had, yeah, he had a t couple tough games in the Canadian series. He's back in Philly taking over the game. He's looking to get number one center. They really need Krejci in the series. Yeah. And for a series to come if they beat the Flyers. Um, Bergeron's in the locker room right now. That would be that would be devastating if they lose Bergeron. And and uh, if they lose Bergeron, I think that, that would be problems against the Bolts. But for right now, they're looking pretty good. They are looking really good. And I will agree. Yeah, I think Bergeron might be back. So. Okay. That'll be nice. Moving on to the West. Mitch's uh, Sharks are up 3-1 now. The Red Wings held on tonight. They won 4-3. Yeah. Uh, thoughts on the Sharks? You um, you know, I, was just, I was just going out on a whim here. I, I just wanted to see the veterans pull through because yeah. everyone was knocking them down. I mean, that great series against Phoenix. It's kind of like the Celtics. They give a great series against like the Knicks and then against Phoenix. And then all of a sudden you just come out bland and flat, yeah. like it's the Heat, and then against the Sharks. The Sharks' offensive arsenal is way too much for this um, Detroit defense. I mean Howard. I mean Howard can only do so much. He's a, he's a good goalie. I mean you know the defense really needs to step up, and they're not really on the offensive at all. Yeah. It seems like Detroit. It seems like you know and you know Datsuk throws a few in there. Zetterberg with a with like a goal or two. Not not much else really. I mean, it's just, they're showing that, you know, their age might be getting to them. Yeah. And could this, I don't know, might, this might be it for Detroit in the playoff runs. They are coached very well, though. Mike Babcock can get them back. And I think if anybody can t take a series back, I think it would be them. I think going down 3-0 is too tough to come back, though. Uh, but you mentioned the veterans do have to step up, and it's it's the guys like Jimmy Howard, who was your boy earlier in the series. He's the one who's given up all these goals. Yeah, but uh, you need the defense to yeah. help you, too. 
But the veterans are stepping up. You know, Zetterberg's up back out there. Pa Pavel Datsuk and Lindstrom, they're big three. They are all really playing well in this series. Yeah, they're the only ones, though. Yeah, <laughs> and that, that's a problem. And I think uh, the Sharks are too good. The defense is too good. The fans are great. Uh, playing the Shark Tank, they call it. Um, Anthony yes. Yemi, who I, who I was saying is that's a mismatch right there with Jamie Howard. He's really stepping up in this series. Hell, and, game two for him. Yeah, you look at Logan Couture, who was a rookie candidate, called a trophy candidate. Um, he, he was he's having a terrific series right now, like five shots a game. Um, you look at Devin Setaguchi had a hat trick last game. Joe Thornton he's really stepping up in the playoffs. Who he's had a question mark. Can he step up in the playoffs? I think in the series he has. And the big guys Marlowe and Healy. And I mean that team is absolutely loaded. Um, I I don't know how you can stop the Sharks, but if anybody can, it could be Vancouver. I mean, you know. I really wanted to, I kind of wanted to see Detroit beat them just so I could have an up on Mitch because yeah. it's so hard to have anything up on All my teams are coming together right now. But I mean, um, Detroit's done. I mean, <laughs> they can go back to San Jose for yeah. what, game five. Yeah. They're, they're done there. They don't, I don't see them going any further. You know, they got the just, experience, but I think the, the Sharks have the talent. The Sharks have the youth on them. They got talent. You know, all the offensive offensive talent, defensive talent. Yep. Niemi's stepping up. You got everyone stepping up at the right time. Niemi's a win. flurry. They step up in the playoffs, both of them. I think they're real good goaltenders. Yeah, he had a great, just great outing in that, especially in that game, too. Though. Yeah. All right, moving on. Nashville took one game from the Canucks, but uh, Vancouver still up 3 1. Is this series over? Yeah, I think this series is over. I was surprised Nashville even took it. Uh, Nashville's a. A pretty good team, you know. I think Pekarene has really made a name, name for himself. Uh, Ryan Suter, we don't talk a lot about. He's one of the most underrated players in the game as a defenseman, uh, and also Shea Weber. I think that's one of the best defensive pairings in the game with them too. Um, you look at the offensive front. I think that's their problem. They got guys like Sergey Kostisin, David Lebon. There's not enough big guys up front. Vancouver's just too good and too strong to stop uh, Nashville. And the thing is, the Sedin twins aren't even doing too much, and that's saying a lot. Once they get start firing all cylinders, they're gonna be tough to stop. I think. With Sedin Twins, uh, Ryan Gusser is doing a lot. I think uh, he's the best American in the game right now, uh, defensively and offensively. He's a great player. You look at Robert, yeah. Roberto Luongo, who's always a great goalie. And uh, the defense with Erhoff, I think I think they're a terrific team. I think Vancouver's going all the way to face Boston in the finals. And I like that matchup. I will agree with you. Vancouver has way too many weapons. They're good. I mean, it's just Nashville, the offense is lack. Like I was saying, their shots on goal are yeah. awful compared to most teams in this NHL playoffs. But, I mean, you know, Fisher not been doing much of anything, really. Nope. Especially the old offense in general, like you were saying. It's just Nashville is, you know. They're a defensive seems, team. Yeah, they seem like a weak team. But Vancouver's too good offensively. Kind of like a poor man's Bruins. All right, I'll give you that. And Pecorino is poor man's Tim Thomas. Poor man's Tim Thomas. So Pecorino, yeah. I mean, I see a good future for him. I do. The thing is, if he gets traded to another team, though, yeah. I, I mean, you know, a team that really needs a goaltender and a good, and a good offense. And I, can, I, I don't think they're trading Pecorino. I think if a team needs a goaltender, I think I think this is the biggest time to trade yeah. Tim Thomas. I, I mean, it's going to be sad to say that if they win the Stanley Cup or even get to the Stanley Cup Finals. Um, this is going to be sky high value for him. Uh, you got Tuka Rask, who was the carrier in that in that yeah. season last year. I think it's really sad that you have two of the best top five goalies in the game. Uh, one of them has to sit on the bench. I think you trade Tim Thomas in his five million a year, uh, get a solid player, get a couple prospects. Uh, this is the height of his value. If they if they come back and Tim Thomas stays, maybe he has a down year, get injured. You're gonna lose out on him, so keep two yeah. grass, build for the future. I understand that, but and I, I think mean, the sad thing is Thomas the Bruins is are this good, and their two best no future there. players, Rask and Sagan, aren't even in the series. Yeah. So I think that says a lot. Yeah, you don't. I mean, you don't want to get rid of Thomas. He's a veteran, you know. I mean, he's great, but Rask, Rask has been he's been really good. But I mean, he's shown signs. Right, of right now, we're just trying Rask and Thomas. Kind of. He seems kind of erratic in his way, though. Compared if the Bruins had, Thomas, if the, you trade Thomas. No, I mean, Rask seems erratic in ways. Yeah, yeah, true. But, I mean, he's still young. He's, yeah, he's still young, but, I mean, he'll grow. I mean, he'll, be, he'll yeah. obviously be better. It's just, you know, you gotta, you got to let someone like oh, Thomas... Oh, Gold Bruins, nice. Gold Bruins. You know, someone like well. Thomas it's dumb. teach him. It's that Charo? That's Lucci. Lucci's second Lucci's of the game. Stepping up. That's huge. Yeah, yeah, that's a wrap. That's, that's, that's so a wrap. Three one in five minutes. See you in the Eastern Conference Finals. All right, so... Come for your lightning. It's a good, uh, it's a good uh, segue into what I was just going to ask you right now. Yeah. Who wins... Over Bruins versus the Lightning. I'm gonna have to go Boston. I think uh, they're they're too good right now. I think they're firing in all cylinders. I think Claude Giroux finally gets the lines together. 
I think like I said the, the pairing of Snydenberg yeah. and Char has really showed a lot. Now that they've scored on the power play, I think they've got, knocked away all the question marks. Tim Thomas is still a stud back there. Oh, yeah. And I think that, that first line, if Krejci, Milan Lucic, and Horton could get it together like they have these last couple of games, I think they're going to be tough to stop. I think the Bolts, they're a really good team, but they're also a little inexperienced. I think, uh, except for Dwayne, we're almost saying, but you look at it, like Stamkos and all their young guys like Bergenheim, I think they're a little too inexperienced. Yeah. And I don't think they're physical enough to match up with the Bruins. Uh, they're a little, they're faster, but you see what the Boston did to Montreal, a fast team like that. It's going to be tough to stop. It's going to be a good series, but I think I'll take Boston in six. I'll agree. I think the, I think the series with the Canadians was a wake-up call. I feel like whenever those two teams face each other, it's a wake-up call for the eye of the one. Yeah. And then they step up in the next round usually, except in the last... Last year's Flyers problems. I think that I think the good thing is Boston's already beaten two two different teams. You know they've beaten the fast, small team with the great goaltending, the energetic team in the Canadians. Now they beat the physical, offensively powered um, Flyers. I think Tampa Bay's a good matchup of both. You've seen Dwayne Rolison, who's a pretty good goalie, and they're also physical and fast. So it's going to be a fast. It's going to be a good matchup. I so would you take? Who would you take them in the uh, seven game series? Who, who, who would you take? I said Boston in six. What about Boston you? six. I would go Boston in six. Yeah. Boston All right. So six. Boston Stanley Cups. Now let's go to the other end. San Jose. And the, oh uh, my! The I'm looking forward to this. Yeah, yeah, that's a that's a that's a that's a such a wash. I mean, we still don't know. Very quick. Very quick. Very quick. Stanley uh, Cup I'm going to go. Stanley Cup if Sharks make it, I'll go Vancouver in five. You, you think you think Vancouver will beat them? If the Bruins go. Oh, I'm saying, I'm saying. In the Stanley Stanley Cup. Cup. I think it's gonna be in the yeah. Cup. Oh, I think it's gonna be Bruins Vancouver. I think Bruins are taking in seven. Bruins Vancouver and uh, Vancouver takes it in seven. Ooh, Luongo and I Saint think Thomas. I think I just think Luongo's a little too much for that offense. All right, we'll see. All right, we got NBA and MLB coming up next.